Glad to be with you on this Tuesday with a word of encouragement. I trust you are encouraged in the Lord. Today I'd like to look at 1 Chronicles chapter 17. David wanted to build the temple, and what a noble aspiration. Uh, he realized that the tabernacle was not the glory to God as it was in earlier days. Now a temple was needed. But God did not let him build the temple. He had been a man of war, and we find in other passages, because he had shed blood, the Lord was going to have his son that would have peace be the one to build the temple. That, of course, was Solomon. And in the explaining of this to David, he makes a wonderful promise to, to David that he, of his seed would be a lasting house. And of course, that would mean that the Messiah would come through him and that we would have the final kingdom that still future would be ruled by the son of David, Jesus Christ himself. I don't know how much of that he understood, but he understood the value of the, of the promise that his family would rule years down the line and that God would bless. And so instead of being disappointed that he was not the one to build the temple, we read in verse 24, Let it even be established that thy name be, may be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts, he is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel. And let the house of David thy servant be established before thee. In other words, I'm, I believe that's going to happen. For thou, O my God, hast told thy servant that thou wilt build him a house. Therefore thy servant hath found it in his heart to pray before thee. And now, God, Lord, thou art God, and hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Here we see a spiritual rejoicing. He didn't get to do the physical, really amazing thing of building the temple. That would have been quite a, a privilege for a man to do. He had been shut down on that desire of his heart, but he had been told something that he saw as greater, and that would be that his house would be established. He saw that as far more important than having the privilege of building the temple. You see, David was a spiritual man. He understood the heart of God. And you know, so often we want to do great things and we want to have certain aspects of accomplishment in our life, and some of those can be very good. But God wants us to value His work, the Great Commission being fulfilled, our families going on for God, His name being glorified more than anything else. And so we must not be disappointed when we don't have some of the things that we'd like to see happen occur. But instead, we need to be thrilled that God will always keep his promises generationally, both spiritually and physically, if we will trust him. And so may we stay encouraged that God has promised to be with us. He's promised to be with us to the end of this age. And may God give us a heart that understands his heart and, and put the things that are important to him first in our lives.